magic lives here. Hi, I'm Kristen. Welcome to the Seer Wellbeing channel. Welcome to nature. I'm your energy wizard, inspiring and enabling you to sense, engage, and express more energy in your life with Qigong. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing because today's practice was actually a request by a subscriber and I love to provide practices that help to fulfill your particular energetic desires. And in today's practice, we're going to be doing a Buddha Palm practice. This is an ancient Qigong practice designed to awaken the healing powers of your hands. So the specific request by the subscriber was for me to do a seated practice. And I thought, what a better practice to do seated. However, this practice can also be done standing. So you can join me taking a seat or stand up. Now the camping chair might not be ideal for your practice, but hey, I'm mobile with this. You ideally want to have a chair that allows you to keep your hips and your knees at the same height. So bear with me. All right. So let's first begin sensing the energy in your hands as it is right now. So if you are seated, turn your hands with palms face up and close your eyes. Just notice any sensations that you feel in your hands. And simply by drawing your awareness to your hands, you're likely to feel a little bit of either warmth or texture, perhaps if it's the air moving across your hands, maybe even a little bit of buzzing. Let's see what we're going to do about that. First, let's do a little silk reeling practice to lube up the joints before we get a little more active. So here, let's begin taking the hands as if you're threading them through a violin or a loom and begin to circulate the hands, moving the fingers and the wrists. This is a practice that I've adopted in the mornings because I've started to notice a little bit of, let's just say, tenderness in my wrists and fingers when I wake up. And we'll go in the other direction. Move all the fingers, your magical tendrils. Wonderful. And then we'll clasp the hands and we'll do a little figure eights. Now I do this practice in another one of my um, videos on upper body joint love. But this practice specifically, we're designing to awaken the healing energy in the hands. Not that your joints won't love you for this. Let's go in the other direction. A little awkward in one direction for sure. All right, here, and then let's press one hand. And then the other. Some nice deep breathing, and then we'll just roll the coaster with it. Yeah. And then in the other direction. Maybe I did it, maybe I didn't. I'll <laughs> have to go back and look. Uh, all right, let's activate our breath a little bit now. Reach the arms up overhead, opening the palms to the universe. We're going to be sourcing our connection with the universe and the earth today. Charge up that energy. Inhale. And then exhale. Come in round the spine a little bit. Bring the elbows close to one another. So inhale, open. Invite energy in through the lungs. That's the first access point for energy. Exhale. 
Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Feel a little bit of that sunlight that's beaming down on me. Move into your hands. And then exhale. Connect to the earth. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Short opening sequence there. Now let's activate a little bit of energy in the hands. Here we're going to make a fist with one hand. And the key area we're trying to activate with this particular um, activation is the Lao Gong point or pericardium eight that's between your index and middle fingers. So we're going to give it a good little punch. So if you've watched some of my other videos, one of the key principles in a Qigong practice is to activate the energy first. We can do that with breath or a little silk reeling like we did, or we can do that with some tapping. Let's take the other palm. It's a healthy way to get out a little aggression and ultimately bring the healing back to you. Now only goes as, 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 as intense as you feel comfortable. And take a moment. Feel that energy awakening. Maybe you notice a little bit more sensation than you did when we began. It's pretty amazing that just a little bit of love tapping can awaken this potent healing energy that lives in you. Let's wake up a little bit of the energy that moves down these rivers of energy into the hands so that we can flow freely and build that healing in our bodies. So we're going to do spreading the feathers. Take the arms out to the side. Whew, still feeling that, guys. Palms forward. And then we're going to reach the arms around, bending a little bit forward at the waist. And then turn, spiral the hands back. Lengthen through the spine. Chin tucks in a little bit. That's why it's good to have your hips and your knees at the same level. Let's do that again. Turn the palms forward. Gather some energy and press. So we're opening the lines of tension that run from the neck and the shoulders down the front of the arms. These are the yang meridians. Inhale, gather. Exhale, stretch. Lengthen the spine. Tuck the chin in just a little bit. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. Take your right ear to your right shoulder. Oh, yeah. Hello, stress. Well, let's get that moving. Just gently roll the head, if that feels comfortable for you, over the shoulder. Keep the jaw relaxed. Keep the spine long. Exhale. And you might even want to exhale through the mouth, just gently. Just releasing any pent-up tension, toxins in the neck and the shoulders. Emotional toxins can end up looking like tightness in the neck and the shoulders. Let's go over to the other side. And most often, really, kind of the, the source of our tension is not really physical. It's most likely emotional. And exhale. Inhale. We don't need to judge ourselves by those emotions or energy and motion that are just a natural part of being. But we can become more skillful, Qigong, with how to 
recognize those emotions that don't serve us and then transform them. So now keep your palms facing behind you and then we'll do the reverse direction. So you're gonna gather energy from behind you, spiral open and long spine lengthen. Tuck the chin in a little bit. Pause for a moment and you might feel the shift. And now we're focusing on opening the yin meridians or the inside of the arms. Gather. Turn the palms away from you. And gather, lengthen. Inhale. Exhale. Or if that breathing pattern does not work for you, just keep the breathing even and smooth. Let's do one more. Open. Again, take the ear, right ear to right shoulder. And you can either leave it here, focusing on just the, the side of the neck, or if you want to get towards the back and the front lines of tension, you can begin to roll the head gently over your right shoulder. Oh yeah. The energy in the palms is awakening. Let's go over to the other side. And the thing is that if we have tension in the neck and the shoulders, it blocks the energy from flowing down really to the end of the meridians, which is the in the center of the palm for this particular practice. Pericardium is one of your yin meridians and doing a little more awakening in the palms with this one. All right, let's allow the head to rest down towards the chin, release the hands at your side and simply bring your attention to the palms. Notice any change, a little amplification of sensation. Too many syllables there. <laughs> Just notice what you feel. Now let's get our let's get our energy charge on from the earth and from the universe. So palms face down towards the earth. Close your eyes. And see if you connect, can connect with the subtle energy of the earth as it rises up into the palms of your hands. And this was a practice that was also designed for practitioners to be able to provide healing to others. So if healing yourself right now is, seems a little bit difficult or uncomfortable, you may even bring to mind the image of someone in your life that needs healing as we do this practice. And just slowly lift the hands up just a little bit and see if that can create a little bit more of awareness in the palms of the hands as you connect gravitational force of the earth. Yeah, so subtle, so powerful. And turn the palms over towards the sky, towards the universe. And feel the light, the potent light of the stars, the sun, the moon radiating down into the palms of your hands. As we did earlier, just pulse the hands slightly. Creating an intention of building energy in the hands by connecting with these potent life sources. Take a moment to flow with those life sources. This is heart to earth, heart to sky with a little bit of a pump. Ooh. Inhale. I can't hide when I feel the energy. 
exhale, bow forward. So a little bit of a back bend, a little bit of a forward bend. Listen to your body. Connect to that universal healing energy. Bowing forward, connecting to the earth energy. You may ask, why can't we just go into the flowing part of the practice? This initial part of the practice is so important to enhance your awareness, to build the connection, to circulate this energy, and then we can tonify. Ancient prescription for building more energy in the body you can't just jump right into the practice. It's not to say that a few breaths won't shift your energy. Let's indulge a little bit and see. Once again, bring the hands down and just notice what you feel. Palms up. They're more tingly. Now, Let us pretend that our hands are like butterflies. We're going to allow the, or the this is the, um, another potent point in the hands, fish belly, sorry, my, my brain went up, it's a lung point, and we're gonna allow those two points to cross, so imagining that you, your hands are like butterflies. And we're gonna start with bringing this healing power into the heart with our hands. You'll also see that those um, pericardium points are overlapping as well. So here we're just going to float the hands out slightly away from the heart and then back in. Float away, back in. Close your eyes and imagine as the hands move closer to your heart but not touching. The hands are not touching in your hands are not touching your chest. Just imagine as the hands move closer to you, you send that energy towards the back of the heart. And as they move away from you, the energy moves towards the front of the heart. So we can think about cultivating healing on a physical level, whether that be bringing more circulation to parts of the body that need healing, or on an emotional level helping to build now in this phase of our practice, build a connection to this feeling of joy and happiness that resonates with the heart's vibration. And then we'll take the hands up to the throat center, still moving the hands like a butterfly wings. You're thinking about awakening your gift of speech so that it is timely, that it is appropriate, that it's from a true place of wanting to express who you are. Very subtle, a little bit more of an advanced practice, feeling that energy moving. You might see my body swaying a little bit. That's how the energy is flowing today. Now we'll come up to the forehead, the third eye center, keeping those hands overlapped, bringing this healing into the mind, clear thought. Awakening your intuition, sparking your intelligence, so many different ways you can describe and sense how this practice can awaken your healing potential. Let's come back down to the throat center.
down to the heart. Beautiful butterfly wing. Up and down to the solar plexus. So at the lower portion of your sternum, this energy center is all about action. So we awakened our love and joy in the heart, our right speech, our intuitive mind. And from those places, we can take action, meaningful action in the world. And we'll finish at the belly center, helping build vitality in your physical being. Now let's finish with a gesture called Monk Holds a Pearl. I'm going to allow the thumbs to interlace. And for this particular posture in the finished here, you can go ahead and allow your hands to rest gently on your thighs. Gaze downward, eyes opened or closed. Your hands. a reflection of your spirit that lives in your heart. Is your spirit alive? This practice is a gift to yourself to see to sense, gauge, and express your aliveness for your own well-being and even the well-being of others. Hmm. Thank you. Did you feel the magic? Comment below. Give me a like and let me know what practices you're interested in. I thank you so much. Be well.